Welcome Aquarius to your June 2019 forecast. I'm Ellie, creator of Hypno You. If you would like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change in any area of your life, in your health, your wealth, your love, or in your direction to what you want to move towards in the future. Maybe there's a blockage there that has been stopping you in those areas. If you would like to permanently shift that do use the link below. So this month, Aquarius, I want to go straight to your health. There looks to be some sort of shock, upheaval, um, some sort of um, electric uh, shock or out of the blue, um, maybe even crisis or chaos to do with your health. This is major. So this is something that's going to make you stop and change things. Um, you also, I, I then pulled two more cards out because this is the Tower card, Aquarius, and you have been looking at your health all year as well as last year as well. And if you're anything like me, not only did your work, home, who you looked after or what you did for the day in your routine change in monumental ways, your health has been an issue. So if you've been ignoring that through this time, this is a time where you will be set, uh, set back and take notice. If you have got a health issue going, then there will be a flare up this month. Now you do have the page of pentacles. Pentacles is about your health and the practical and tangible ways that you can put into that to help. It's also about financial. So you might need to spend money on a routine or some equipment or to see a specialist of some sort. But this is about a promise for a new set of energy moving forward. And for some of you, this shock, this new fresh start is about pregnancy for some of you. And so this could be an unexpected, unplanned pregnancy. This could be for some of you a loss. For others, this is about that emotional self where you have uh, felt unappreciated. If you took care of someone or do now for a while, which has affected you in a way, physically, emotionally, or restricted and isolated you from the support in the community or other people around you. This is also five, which is the heart, the sides of the body and the upper back and your spine. So you could find that you have shooting pains, electric pains, a seizure, um, heart pain, heart burn in any of those areas. Um, doesn't have to be specifically that, but it is uh, one of the numbers that did come out. So there does need to be a shift there. And perhaps this has come up because this card, your angel card, says, listen, I know that you've been asking for help in this way. And through this incident that occurs, I am walking you towards that. But there is going to have to be some changes. You are going to have to um, put things into place if you look for others or uh, look after others or if this is to do with pregnancy, caring or looking after children. If it is about children, I'm leading you towards your, your life of children. So, you know, that has been looked at and looked after by the angels. And if this is about taking care of others, they are helping you with the strength and recovery to be able to do that. And if this is in terms of your own health through an emotional shift, a depressive shift, or in those you know heart sides of the body, upper back and spine, this is going to promote a change. Now, all month you are looking at the fifth house. So again, some of you, it will be about pregnancy. Some of you it will be emotional though, because the fifth house is about your love life and those you date. So that might create stress, tension, which brings about a migraine, which brings about pressure on you, which sets off and triggers something. So do be aware of that. In your study, career and finances, you do have um, a union, a collaboration. You are signing on the dotted line there. This is about joining the team. So if you're looking for a job, you will hear about that in June and you will have that. This is about sharing uh, the duties with another. So maybe this is job share. Maybe you are collaborating. Um, but yes, you, you will have um, success in that in June. You also have Indriel who said you've asked for help. Now follow those steps, the communication and options put in front of you. Do not be risk averse. Take those bold steps forward. Again, 
if this is in terms of um, putting money into a project or being in head of a project, you will have the support you need. Now at home, you do have the yes card. So if this is helping you get the loan or if this is getting you to relocate or it puts you on the ladder, the first step to be able to relocate, buy or move. This card here is about relocation. It's about moving in or out. It's about buying or selling or leasing. And that is uh, what you're focused on. And you're asking yourself, all right, well, I'm here now. Not just in terms of your home, but your home, your family, and your life direction. Um, creativity, dating, pleasurable affairs, parenting and kids, uh, recreation, hobbies, self-expression. Um, this is about getting out and having fun. Well, this is looking at my options, looking online, looking at travel, looking to my community. The third house is community. It's my domestic uh, affairs, my domestic uh, duties. It's even uh, training and mental ability. So maybe you're going to do something from home or online. But this is saying, go out and have a look what's out there. And uh, it is a yes. This is exactly the time you should be doing that and joining up for that. Now, in our love, we do have the Knight of Swords. Uh, and we also have your end of a cycle now and happiness awaits you. Maybe there was a psychological shift or a time of a work on yourself, a time of grieving a loss. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be a loss of a partner through death, but it could have. Uh, I lost my son and the last thing on my mind is dating, but you know, I'm open to it if it happens. I have had a psychological shift in this last um, few months, but in the last two weeks, I really have focused on the future and what is most important to me. So perhaps you're now in focused, ready, you know what you want, you know what direction you want, and you're ready to go. And you're looking at the avenues to get there. This card says if you have met someone or if you're entering out into the avenue to be able to get that, do go slow. Don't let yourself go, oh, I'm finally getting out there. I'm going to run a marathon. You know, I'm going to sprint. Just remember it. First time's out, dip your feet in the water and see what happens. If this is about a love partner for you, this is another air sign, Gemini, uh, Libra or Aquarius. And this is saying, look, this has potential. I, um, I see this has a future and I really want this to move forward. And Carissa says, well, you know, the things that you've put in place of what you've put down, your self-belief systems, the cycles that you've had with dating, put that down and go slower. This does have potential, but you need to slow it down. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.